慈善暖人心，互动见真情。今天我们的嘉宾就是这样一位热心公益、为慈善事业奉献爱心的华人，让我们来听听看他的心路历程吧。我名字叫尚燕静，英文名字叫 Rosie。呃，我来到温哥华，呃，来到加拿大已经有十五年了。在这十五年当中呢，呃，我得到了很多当地人的帮助，呃，同时呢，也收到了很多很多的这个收获。呃，我开始来这里的时候也是举目无亲，没有朋友，也没有工作，呃，但后来呢，呃，我就呃到了这个银行和这个金融行业工作，呃，因为我们这个呃加拿大温哥华。有很多的这个专业人士，有很多新移民，在大家的帮助下，呃，这个十几年来成长的挺快的。呃，我以前在皇家银行，呃，做过皇家银行的这个副总裁，主要是做这个皇家银行的这个财富管理这一块现在我在那个呃新成长成第一位的这个加拿大的 TD 银行做这个。呃 ，TD 银行财富的这个副总裁，呃，我这个十多年来在这个加拿大生活，作为一个新移民，呃，我觉得还是有很长很长的路，有很多的艰辛，但是呢，因为朋友的帮助，因为这个呃加拿大这种多元的文化。呃，因为我们呃大家一起的努力，我觉得还是有一点点成绩。呃，我今年呢被列治文呃医院基金会聘请为他们这个晚会的这个筹委会主席，任期两年。我觉得呃，在我在加拿大这样幸福的生活的前提下，我应该有责任回馈我们的社区，回馈我们的华人朋友。所以呢，我觉得这件事情非常有意义。加拿大 B.C. 省列治文医院基金会成立于一九八七年，自成立以来已筹得超过六千一百万加元的善款。这些善款被用于投资以及加强改善医院设施、添置并更新重要的医疗器具、支持医疗研究及教育、改善病人护理服务等等。作为一个注册的非盈利性机构，它与社区合作紧密，为确保列治文市居民能够获得优质的医疗服务，做出了卓越的贡献。文医院，它是一个全科医院，它这个全科医院呢，发展了很多年，呃，但是呢，它还需要更大的发展，所以呢，它有扩建的这样子的想法。
。呃，列志文每年一度的这个筹款的这个晚会呢，其实已经举办了十七年了。呃，在这十七年过程当中呢，呃，每一位关心健康事业的朋友都有所贡献。今年呢，我们分成几个步骤。第一个呢，就是呃九月份的这个爱心筹款月，这是一个很长的三十多天的活动。然后接下来我们会在十月十七号有一个盛大的晚宴。盛大的晚宴，我们的筹款目标是一百万，呃，比去年可能增加将近百分之百。所以我们的任务还是挺艰巨的。但是我们每一个人都愿意为我们的这个健康事业为。我们的明天，为我们的孩子们多多工作，努力工作，奉献自己的一份力量。五年前的一天，我怀孕八个月，心跳突然增至一百六十五，家人立即把我送到了列治文医院。前台的护士对我进行了紧急安置，医生也马上赶来，对我进行了细心的检查和紧急抢救。大概二十分钟以后，我的心跳恢复了正常，宝宝也平安无事。我和家人都非常感谢列治文医院的医生和护士们。希望大家能够在医院的筹款活动中献出自己的微薄之力，支持列治文医院挽救更多的生命。谢谢。In 2013, my husband Paul was traveling overseas and he had a very bad infection while he was traveling. So I brought him to Richmond Hospital uh, with the help of doctors and、um, nurses at Richmond Hospital. I'm so glad that he's alive today, and、uh, I encourage everyone to donate generously to Richmond Hospital. Sare nu me binti kar diya ki tusi apni community de vich aake apni hospital nu support karo. Kisi nu nii pata ki kal nu kis baare kis chiz vaste to nu is hospital di load pa jaye. Thank you, everyone. I've been acquainted with this hospital for many years. I came into the hospital once because I had been diagnosed with、uh, prostate cancer. They、uh, had they operated on me here in the hospital, did a great job. So I am a survivor. Unfortunately, a few years ago, my wife also developed a type of cancer, but after a six-month struggle, she did not make it. While here in the hospital, they did everything they could to bring her through. It was extremely good care, and I appreciate everything that the doctors and the whole teams were doing for her. I was born in Richmond Hospital. I was born in Richmond Hospital. I was born in Richmond h 也非常感谢 Richmond 医院，希望大家都来踊跃支持我们 Richmond 医院。正因为有了大家热心的支持，才有了医院更好的服务大家。过去呢五年嘅时间，我爸爸患咗 cancer， 初头系前列腺癌，后期肠癌，跟住肝癌。喺呢段五年嘅时间里面唔容易过，好多谢列治文医院嘅医生、护士俾佢嘅服务。咁悉心嘅愛護，提供好多嘅治療俾佢，令佢延長咗生命。我哋多咗時間去相聚。It happens in a split second, and it's happened to each member of my family, where all of a sudden an, a medical emergency has arisen, and we need the services of the local hospital. I am ever so grateful to the healthcare professionals. To all the people who support the hospital, and to the entire city of Richmond, we're working together to support the local hospital foundation, and we're very grateful for your generosity. Actually, we all came to Canada, to the BC state, to the Big Island, to the Northern Territory. We all feel that here, no matter how diverse the culture is. 不管是自然环境，不管是社会环境，不管是呃各个方面，它都非常好
。但是在健康事业方面，我们其实内心有一个强烈的愿望，觉得应该再提高。呃，很多我们的朋友呢说，在这里我什么都不担心，我就担心生病，我怕等候时间长，我会怕我表达不了我到底生的什么病，因为语言的原因。其实我觉得这里面有两个方向的，一个方向呢就是我们这个大陆华人因为语言的这个障碍。其实我们即使用母语，有的时候“病”这个东西也很难形容，所以呢，比较惧怕去了解这边的医疗体系，比较这个，呃。不太深入去跟他们沟通，接触的比较少，所以对这个医疗体系好像，呃，没有那么熟悉。另外一方面呢，就是确实是因为加拿大的整个的这个卫生医疗体系都是公有制，都是这个政府来提供的，几乎没有私人医院。那可能呢，在有些时候。呃，可能需要时间比较长，或者是说，呃，这个有些专科医生呢，呃，这个临床经验方面，或者是说设备方面，还有更更多的空间可以发展的更好。所以我觉得呢，从我个人来讲，从我这个小孩来讲，我们有过一些就是。呃，特殊的经历，然后我们也和朋友也分享过一些经历，就觉得，呃，在这方面，我们觉得有还是有提高的空间，所以我们觉得呢，呃，在这个方面，呃，是我们头疼的问题，但是我们也有责任，呃，一方面是要了解这个社会系统，一方面是了解这个健康系统，呃，沟通，然后呢，另外一方面就是我们要了解的基础上，呃，以己之力做出一些贡献。为提高和改善，为达到更高的目标，做出我们每个人自己的一份努力。这样的话，我们是其中一份子。有什么问题呢？我们可以提出来帮助去改变。如果我们不站在外面，不是其中一份子，不做贡献，呃，不去提意见，那我想这是很难改善的。但是我们每个人都需要这个改善。我健康事业、医院的事业，对我们每个人来讲都息息相关。所以我觉得我这个任务呢，虽然是义工性质的，但是呢，任务还是挺重的。
我们还采访到了同样热心慈善事业的 Melissa l i a n 她不久前举办了自己的慈善音乐会，并将所有的款项全部捐给了 BC 省儿童医院，共筹得超过五千加币的善款。嗯，首先我觉得就是在近几年。温哥华有越来越多的这种慈善活动，然后有更多的人开始重视起来，关注这些需要帮助的人，所以这是我非常非常开心看到的。然后，嗯，现在有更多更多的华人能够积极的参与到我们这个大这个社会当中去，参与到不管是西方的团体还是东还是那种啊、呃、亚洲团体的一些慈善活动。那我觉得，嗯。嗯、呃，尚女士，呃，尚阿姨呢，在这个方面起到了一个非常大的一个推广的作用，因为，她引领了很多，嗯，初来乍到的这些新移民，包括一些啊、呃、青少年们，积极投入到这种，嗯，社会活动当中，然后也为这些需要帮助人们，就是筹到了很多善款，并且帮助很多人，就是改善他们的之前的生活。呃，我觉得那个温哥华就像你说的，还是一个西方呃这个文化做主流的这样的一个社会，呃，在这个慈善事业方面，其实我们的前辈老华侨，特别是香港的华侨，他们来的比较早，他们每一个人都做了很多的贡献。呃，最近呃差不离一二十年，大陆来的这个呃华人越来越多，呃，我觉得大陆来的华人他们也很热心，也很希望为自己生活呃。这样的这个美好的这个地方有自己的贡献，但是呢，呃，实事求是的讲，在过去这些年当中呢，这个呃沟通的还不够，这个慈善的机构欢迎我们每一个人为他做贡献，特别是中国大陆来的，因为现在中国大陆来的新移民实力都很强，但是作为中国大陆的新移民呢，也想为慈善做贡献，但有的时候可能摸不着门儿，呃，所以我希望我能够给大家做。一个桥梁，做一个沟通的这样一个渠道，帮助大家实现自己的爱心，同时呢，也帮助我们的慈善机构募到更多的钱，帮助我们的健康事业。我和很多移民一样，来到温哥华之前，来到这个加拿大之前，就已经有了不错的积累。所以带到加拿大以后呢，呃，其实下半辈子不太愁了。但是呢，我有这个心愿，也有这个愿望和能力，呃，来帮助大家，服务于大家。呃，我现在在 TD 银行呢，主要是做财富管理这方面的工作。但是我们 TD 呢，它有一个，呃 ，One TD 这样一个概念，所以不管是私人银行，还是财富管理，还是商业银行，还是我们银行的其他业务，我们通通只有一个目标，为了我们的客户进行服务。所以呢，我在我的专业工作中，和我在我的业余的这个呃义工啊，这个在社会做贡献的这个过活动当中，只有一个宗旨：服务大家，呃，给大家带来方便，给大家带来快乐。其实呢，很多人都说，呃，这个加拿大温哥华好山好水好寂寞，说在这儿可以玩儿，可以这个休息，呃，可以这个呃享受大自然。人，但是生意或者工作好像都挺难，其实不是的，因为我们现在觉得越来越多的这个呃，全世界的成功人士，呃，越来越像加拿大呃移民他们的生意，呃，移动他们的事业，同时呢，也带来很多的这个机会和财富，所以我觉得不管是。呃，我们做哪一行的？不管是我们现在是在这里已经几年了，十几年了，还是新来的，其实我们这里都有很多的机会，都有服务于大家，同时自己也获利的机会。所以我觉得，虽然我是做理财的，但是呢，我在多方面能给大家带来服务的话，我很开心。然后我的朋友其实也好多人都有这个理念，他们希望通过自己的努力，能够服务到大家，能够呃让所有的人。在加拿大，在温哥华，在列治文安居乐业。其实，呃，每一个人在这个加拿大温哥华，如果你想做一些事情的话，你如果你要想成功的话，都要做出很大的努力。
所以我的主业呢是做金融工作，要为大家在金融方面啊、呃、服务。其实呢，挺忙的，真的挺忙的，呃，每天工作十多个小时。但是当我听说这个列治文医院基金会要邀请我，呃，做这个桥梁，呃，帮助大家在这方面解决一些问题的时候，我觉得义不容辞。所以呢，呃，有的时候真的是从办公室出来已经很累很累了，呃。真的是觉得再也不能说话了，也不想开车了。但是为了医院的这个筹款，为了这个医院的一些活动，我可能还要鼓励自己再打十个电话，然后呢，呃，再做一些文件，再做一些准备工作。呃，辛苦自然是有，但是我觉得特别值得。呃，希望那个呃，我和大家一起。把我们这个基金会，把我们的医院，把我们的健康事业，都发展起来。加拿大列治文医院第十七届星光筹款晚宴，于二零一五年十月十七日在列治文和氏剧院举行。晚宴的入场竞拍从五点开始，直至午夜，筹款的目标是一百万加币，最后实际筹得一百三十万加币，其中华人的捐款占绝大多数。晚宴其中一个筹款项目“领袖挑战”的成果超出了预期。当晚，玛丽、张元生和张伯宏一家捐出五十万加币的善款，带领其他的捐赠者支持购买新的医疗造影仪器。I was born in Edmonton, Alberta, on December the 15th, 1928, and we moved to Richmond in 1939. Richmond in 1939 was just a great place to live. It was a farming community, mainly in the area of Bridgeport. There were small farms where we were raised. In Richmond at that time, there was only one doctor here, and that was Dr. Graves, and he was in Stevenson. There was nothing here. I mean, for as far as emergency facility. After graduating from Richmond High, well, I attended UBC and I graduated from medicine in 1955. I started practice in February 1957 in a little shopping center called Highland Park. I had a family practice. Initially, my first patients were young families because at that time you could buy a house in Richmond for ten thousand dollars and one thousand dollars down, and so that there was a, a major influx of young families here. The fact there was no hospital here. That means that all my patients had to be admitted to either Vancouver General or St. Paul. As a result of that, I had to attend to these people every day, if they were admitted. So that、uh, sometimes I went to Vancouver twice a day. So that it meant between two or three hours a day just driving to the hospitals and back. I'd used to drive 25,000 miles a year just making house calls and going to the hospitals downtown. I recall one in episode in which I. Had a delivery at St. Paul's Hospital. Was coming home at three or four o'clock in the morning and fell asleep, driving down Granville Street, and、uh, awakened by、uh, horns tootins. So I know that、uh, exhaustion、uh, was a, a factor there. Tony and I met in 1960. I was a nurse working at one of the hospitals in Vancouver. I happened to be working in pediatrics, and he had some of his pediatric patients there. That's where we met. Perhaps he thought that this might be a good foundation for somebody that might be his wife. Who knows? <laughs> We were married on September the eighth, nineteen sixty-two, in the same church that my parents had been married in thirty years previously. We have three children. Wendy was born in nineteen sixty-three. Susan was born in nineteen sixty-five, and David was born in nineteen sixty-seven. The Richmond Hospital opened in February 1966. It had a dramatic impact on my life. I didn't have to make as many house calls because people, when when they were sick, they could come to the to the Richmond Hospital to the emergency department there. The opening of Richmond Hospital was a great day for everybody in Richmond, and we were standing there、um, filled with joy, like everybody else was in our community. When the hospital opened up, we acquired full-time specialists, and it covered all disciplines. And they had full-time offices here, so that 
If we had a, a problem, we can refer them immediately to them. So it's very, very great, great for the patients and great for the family doctors here. I grew up in Richmond uh, from the age of five onwards. I actually grew up uh, number one road in Blundell. And so the elementary school I went to was Quilchina Elementary School. And the three of the siblings went there and we lived close by on a street called Winchelsea Crescent. I did an undergraduate at UBC in something called pharmacology and therapeutics. And then after that went to medical school and I graduated in 1998 from UBC. All of the surgeons that we have here had opportunities to work at hospitals other than Richmond Hospital. But the reason that we all ended up here was for the environment of the hospital and the community and of our colleagues. What defines our team best in Richmond is that we offer the full spectrum of urologic care within our group. Dr. Hennessy, Dr. Hamidizade, Dr. Rappaport and myself, we can offer virtually every subspecialty level of care. Surgeons always want to provide optimal care that is uncompromising and in order to do that we need to have the best equipment and oftentimes you need very technically advanced large pieces of equipment and having that has allowed us to attract the best urologists, vascular surgeons, general surgeons and orthopedic surgeons possible to the hospital. Medical imaging is a cornerstone of clinical evaluation management of all of our patients. The infrastructure that we need for medical imaging has grown an incredible amount. We have a wonderful CT scanner, MRI scanner, ultrasonic imaging equipment, but quite frankly, the way things are going with cancer detection and monitoring, we could use additional scanners. The community of Richmond has grown by leaps and bounds, and even in the, the short 40 years, relatively speaking, that I've been in Richmond, the population's doubled to tripled in size. The North Tower is now 50 years old. It's served the community incredibly well over these past 50 years, but medicine and the technology has changed, um, so our needs for infrastructure have changed. The challenge now for Richmond Hospital is the fact that the tower we have now is aging, it's not seismically sound, and it needs to be replaced. Back then, we wanted the best health care for the people of Richmond. We still want the same thing today, and that's what a new tower will mean for us. But the donors are critical to providing us with a vast majority of the tools that we use. And just like any workman, the workmanship relies on having the best tools available. And the donors have done that forever within this hospital. There's never been a question about some piece of equipment we've needed. I can speak of the gratitude of every single surgeon in this hospital to the donors for allowing us to provide that level of care and providing us with the tools we need. We want to make sure that the best health care is available for everybody in Richmond now and in the future. My hope for the future is that if someone is sitting in my chair 50 years from now as department head looks back, they're going to be able to recognize the passion of the community, of the donors, of everyone that was brought together to make Richmond Hospital the place it is. I've always loved this community. To be able to have a home and a beautiful wife and three beautiful children and now all these seven great grandchildren, it's just great. I am so happy to be a part of this community and that's why I want to give back to the community. Canada列主文医院为超过二十万名列主文市民合约一千四百万名机场流动人口提供服务。现在工作人员两千六百多人，医生二百六十二名以及超过七百五十名义工。他们有二十多个服务地点，医疗服务包括家庭和社区护理、
、院舍、照顾服务、精神健康服务等，但是他们需要大量的捐款才可以满足人口的增加和老龄化的需求。列治文医院基金会一九八七年成立起，为医院捐得善款共超过五千五百万元，以保证医护人员能够用最佳的医疗设备及技术。让病人得到最高水平的治疗和护理。其实我的吸取和愿望还是蛮高的，因为我觉得，呃，健康事业是非常。重要也是一个伟大的事业，所以呢，晚会只是筹一百万，但是我们的医院、我们的健康事业是需要长时期的关怀和长时期的奉献的。呃 ，Richmond 医院呢会要建一个很大的大楼，这个预算是很高的，所以呢，我在这个除了晚会以外，每一天的这种工作和朋友的接触当中呢，可能我们想做的事情更大，今后会跟大家。分享和的透露更详细一些。